a glacial moraine is a, a ridge of sediment and rock that's pushed up in front of an advancing glacier. So as a glacier retreats from that area, it's natural for that moraine to start impounding a little bit of water as the ice continues to melt. Um, and in this case, it, it was unusual because the glacier kept retreating farther and farther north, almost all the way up to Hudson Bay in Canada, and the lake just kept growing and growing. Usually these lakes last for 10 or 50 years, but this one lasted for thousands of years and was in a very stable position until the failure that created the Minnesota River Channel, the, the valley we call Glacial River Warren. So the glaciers that advanced through Minnesota during the last ice age were very good at moving sediment and rock around. And so they, they kind of um, push it, incorporate it into the bottom of the ice, and trans translate it farther south. So our debris came out of Canada, Saskatchewan and Manitoba, pushed all the way down into central Iowa. And there's a natural ridge that forms at the margin of the ice as it's advancing, and that's what we refer to as a moraine. And so it's made up of this unsorted mixture of rock and sediment. Um, that's how you can kind of recognize glacial material. It looks like dirt with a lot of rocks in it, as opposed to stream sediment, which is more sorted and uniform in size, like sand and gravel. So a moraine is a ridge of unsorted sediment that's at the margin of the ice. If you're thinking of a smaller glacial system, like a mountain glacier in the Rockies, um, then you might want to distinguish the end moraine from the moraines on the side, the lateral moraines. Sometimes glacial lobes come together and there's a moraine squeezed in between them, and that's a medial moraine, but in our big continental system, we just kind of call them all moraines. It's really hard to differentiate those smaller features here.